This is Corey Franklin in Chicago for obitpage.com. Carolyn Gilbert is in North Texas, and she's not here tonight. By way of introduction, I want to make a mention of Fred Foy today. Fred Foy died recently at the age of 89. The name may not be familiar to you, but the voice certainly will be. Here's a little bit of Fred Foy who was announcing this famous clip. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. That's right, Fred Foy was the announcer for the Lone Ranger. Here he talks a little bit about his famous role. I think best of all I'd like to be remembered uh, as a part of the Lone Ranger uh, and uh, a part of uh, that era of radio broadcasting when uh, when there were so many other uh, challenges and, and wonderful shows. And uh, I'll always, always in my lifetime uh, thank uh, the good Lord for directing me to the Lone Ranger and all of the beautiful things that came out of that uh, relationship. And uh, there were many, and they were all really di <coughs> directly associated with my, with my part in that uh, marvelous program. Well, uh, to end our interview, uh, uh, what I'd like to ask you to uh, do the opening for us. And, uh, All right. <laughs> I'd be very happy to. All right. A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Easy, steady, big fellow. Hail oh, Silver! Hooray! <laughs> there you have it. Ah, those thrilling days of yesteryear. We'll miss you, Fred Foy. Tonight I'd like to shift gears for our final little bit.